Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Keystone Passport 2890RL. Let's go ahead and start here on some of the outside features. We'll make our way around and then we will head on in. So right here is your propane tank cover. This has two 20 pound tanks. Nice and easy to get to. Just undo these thumb screws here, lift up the door and you can access those tanks. Behind that is your uh, battery rail there. That is wide enough you can fit two batteries. And then coming up the front is the black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. On the far side there, you will notice a couple things. One, you see a light in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. And then right down below there on the frame is your solar prep. So if you do want solar on this unit, it's nice and easy. Just buy the panels, plug it in there, and it will start to trickle charge your battery. The Passport has a couple great features about it. One of them is towability. It's a lightweight travel trailer. And I'll give in, it is a larger one, this particular unit, so it's somewhat heavy, but light for its size. If you see right here the front end, notice how it has a nice curvature to it, so it is somewhat aerodynamic. Again, that will help cut through the wind there. Come around to this side here. This is our pass-through compartment. A couple things I want to point out. One, it has a covered hinge. That way your rust isn't coming down the door like you commonly see on your pass-through. Another, look at this. It's magnetic. That way you don't have any clips or anything that are going to snap off when you go to shut this. And if you take a look in there, take a look at how big that is. It's a huge pass-through. And you have equal size door on the uh, camp side here as you do on the off-door side. LED light in there. And you can see the aluminum frame that this coach uses. Right back here is your power awning. You can notice how that covers both doors. Very large power awning. Touch of a button to have that roll out. Same thing to go back in with an LED light strip there at night. Above the power awning, you will see your rain gutter. That goes, again, the entire length there. That way, the water runoff naturally goes right into those rain gutters, goes to the front and back, rather than having it just dump right down here on your campsite. As I had mentioned, this coach does have two entrances and exits. The secondary one right here is the one to use if you need to use the bathroom because it is just a straight uh, shot right across the hall there. The main entrance, this one right back here, you will see uh, has the nice easy grab handle there and this one will go directly into your living room. Right over here is an electrical outlet so if you do need to plug anything in that is the place to do it here. This is your Atwood water heater. Nice water heater. Uh, the thing I like about Atwood is one, it doesn't have an anode rod, so you don't have to worry about replacing that. And it's just, again, making life a little bit easier on you. If you take a look right beneath that, you have your spread axles here. They call this a load equalization axle system. And again, as I had mentioned earlier, that helps with your towability. Having that wider wheel be uh, wheelbase means that you have less sway. Also, you have the aluminum alloy rims on there, and those are easy lube axles, which again, help for your maintenance. Another thing I like to talk about when I talk about the Passport is underneath the things you can see, this one does have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So if you're camping early in the spring or late in the fall when it starts dipping below those freezing temperatures, as long as your furnace is running, you don't have to worry about things freezing up underneath because again, it is heated and enclosed and it forces that air right down there. If you like to cook outside, Perfect. Right here is a swing arm mount for your grill. That just swings right out, connects to the propane quick connect there underneath. Uh, the grill is generally stored underneath the bed in the coach, but again, that is a swing arm, so you can swing it out and around, or you can just use it right back here. This is your spare tire mounted to the bumper, has a cover on there as well. Electrical cord right there in the center. Uh, big rear picture window on this coach. If you have a beautiful view out the back, then this is one you definitely need to really consider because you can see everything out there, which is great. And then right up top, you have your backup camera prep in case you do want to install a backup camera. Welcome to the inside of the 2018 Keystone Passport 2890RL. This particular model is in the granite interior. Let's go ahead and take a look right over here. You see you have the nice big countertop there. One of the great things about big countertops is big space underneath. And it starts as soon as you walk in the door. You can see that huge storage. And it really makes sense in this floor plan because it's perfect. If you want to walk in, kick your shoes right underneath there, it gives you the possibility to do that. 
Right here on the back wall, as this is a rear living coach, you have your two swivel rockers. Nice and comfortable there. You can see you have a little coffee table here in the center for any drinks or cocktails. You also have uh, electrical outlets on either side. So if you need to plug in any kind of electronic devices, you can do it right from the comfort of your chair. Big windows all the way around here, especially at this back one here, as I mentioned, huge rear picture window, and you can swivel these chairs right around, sip on your morning coffee, and enjoy the view out the back. Couple LED lights right here for reading, as well as additional storage right up top. You'll see the doors uh, do have the tinted glass on there, the nice brushed nickel pulls throughout. So you come over here to the slide out, you can see this is our super slide. Uh, one of the things that are standard now on the Passport this year is rather than the jackknife sofa, they have gone to the trifold. While the jackknife is great for storage, the trifold is definitely a heck of a lot more comfortable uh, for a couple reasons. One, it has built-in armrests, which is very nice. Two, the cushion itself is a lot softer on here. And when you pull this out into a bed, the bed is amazing. It's larger. You can actually sleep two adults on here if you choose to do so. And again, it uses the, uh, the couch cushions themselves as the bed. It doesn't have like a thin little pull-out mattress or anything like that. You can see here, you have two windows on this side, which again, make it nice and bright in here during the day. Uh, big U-shaped dinette. Take a look at this. Passport always does a good job of having large U-dinettes, which I really like because that way if you have friends or family over, everyone can sit around, have a meal together, you can play a game together. And again, if you need additional sleeping, a U-shaped dinette also makes a very large bed. It's easy to make. You just pull these legs out right here. The table will sit along the rails, take the cushions, put it on top. And this again is a bed that's large enough for two adults. And then they make it easy to access storage here too. You can see you have the swing open doors on both sides, just making it very easy to get to. That way you don't have to lift up the cushions to be able to get in there. Right over here is the entertainment center. You see the TV, of course, right there smack dab in the middle. Underneath that is your multimedia center. This is your radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it right in there. Additional storage here up top as well as a cutout here with dual USB ports and some additional storage there underneath. Uh, across the way here, this is the door I showed you uh, when we were outside. And again, as I mentioned, you can see right here, it is straight across from the bathroom, which is nice. But right over here kind of is our kitchen space. So I'll open this up. This is something, again, that Passport does very well. You'll see this in almost all their floor plans. And I like it because it gives you a lot of versatility. If you want to hang something up here, whether it's jackets or clothes or whatever, they give you the hanging rod going across. You can, these shelves here are removable. You can take them out. Or you can just use this for a nice big pantry space. It makes a great pantry right there as it is next to your refrigerator and freezer. Speaking of, let's go ahead and open that up so you can take a look. Plenty of size there. You can see you have a cutout for some taller items. Uh, this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Microwave up top here. Weight of the unit, 5,620 pounds. Again, that's pretty lightweight for being a you know 29-foot trailer. Right underneath that is your hood with a light and fan. You can see right here, three burner at wood cooktop with an oven underneath if you want to do some baking there. And then right over here is your double bowl sink with sink top covers. These are cutting board quality. If you want to flip them over and use them as a cutting board, you can do that. And when I take them off, that reveals the double bowl sink there, larger on the left, smaller on the right, and the high rise faucet. Underneath, as I mentioned, great storage. Open this guy up, you can see all that storage right in there. And then again, right here on the side, another thing I like is take a look at this. You have two drawers right here that are tucked away, but big full extension drawers for silverware and your bigger utensils like your spoons, spatulas, things like that. Of course, LED light there to make it nice and bright, a window to give you that daylight at night, microwave up top, I think I already mentioned that. And right next to that, you have good extra pantry storage. Um, the thing I do like about this too, and again, Passport does a really good job of doing this. They give you raised panel cabinetry here in the kitchen with these brushed nickel pulls. You know, if you, if you know anything about like the residential side of things, it's all about the kitchen, right? And they did the same thing here. They definitely stepped it up a notch. I really like that they put those in. On the other side of our secondary door, you have this extra storage right here. 
take a look at that. This is cool. So you get a nice little coat rack there. When you come in, you can hang up your sweatshirt, your jacket, and then you have all this storage here underneath. So again, if you want to put shoes in here, that's another great place to store them. Now, as I had previously said with the secondary door, if you have to come in and use the bathroom, right here it is. Straight across from that door, you can see the bathroom here. Uh, foot flush lever toilet there, plenty of leg room all the way around. You can see the shower right here, you have the shot, a nice glass door on there. You can see the shelves as well as the hand wand and then the big skylight up top. That skylight of course lets in some uh, natural light, gives you some additional headroom. And then right over here you have your vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. You can see the mirrored medicine cabinet there with storage behind that. And then underneath is your sink top vanity with uh, additional storage under the sink. As we step into the bedroom, one of the things I also love about Passport is this right here. Take a look. They give you an actual slider door here to the bedroom. You don't have a curtain or anything like that, so if you do have guests over, it gives you that added level of privacy. Also, a queen size residential size bed. So this is a true 60 by 80 here. It's nice and big. So if you're a taller person, your feet aren't gonna hang off the end and you have the additional storage underneath. On both sides of the bed, you have mirrored wardrobe space with an additional shelf up top. A little bit of a shelf on the side there, a little bit bigger on this side here. And you have electrical outlets on both sides of the bed in case you need to plug anything in. You see the storage going across the top. You have the tinted glass there with the brush nickel pulls, dual LED reading lights underneath, windows on both sides for cross ventilation as well as an emergency exit there. And if you like to watch TV before you go to bed, you do have the connections here in the bedroom. But all right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Keystone Passport 2890RL. This one is in the granite interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.